an interesting event with lots of interesting topics and the speakers that presented. The best part of the event was the fact that the diversity of the speakers and the topics that they covered, the range in which they were speaking to was quite entertaining and the crossover between them was quite engaging. I think uh, the opportunity to speak tonight was, um, was a good one. Um, it allowed me to sort of express my experience with that particular project um, and you know, just give people an idea of what we do that's not local, it's a global project. The culture and custom is totally different, uh, Japan and Australia, uh, and uh, building structure uh, is totally different. So uh, uh, the manner of renovation is different. I had a great time tonight hearing from industry experts and panels from overseas. The best part for me tonight was hearing from Gillian Boots and I guess the change of the concierge um, industry within Australia and how it's being implemented into developments. I think the audience gained a, an insight into um, how local challenges can be tackled in a similar way to global challenges um, and there's a lot of um, similarities between the way we, um, we approach projects internationally and locally. A lot of the um, social challenges are similar, a lot of the retail opportunities are similar um, and I think that's what we demonstrated tonight. I think that cross-pollination between those topics is quite important, particularly in the architectural industry. And just having that input from each background allows that to happen, and these symposiums allow that to happen in this forum. I think the symposium event is important because you're hearing from industry experts and, I guess, insights into industries that you might not be aware of um, that can definitely assist you towards your next development. The symposium is important for the Buckland Group um, to just demonstrate our expertise um, in this uh, in this capacity and this, uh, this topic that we've talked about today, particularly in, in retail and, and how retail assets can be uh, transformed over time.